All right, we're back here on Sports Lines. We mentioned before the break, it was very sad last week with the news of the passing of John Ward at 88 years of age for decades. He was the voice of University of Tennessee football and men's basketball and a voice that if you grew up in this state from the way people relay it, if you paid any attention to Tennessee or to the Vols, you knew the voice. It was kind of like grandpa calling your games. It was just a guy who knew his stuff, was well respected, and everybody loved his work. And we know how much a lot of people in this state love the Vols. You know, if you grew up in Tennessee, if you went to Tennessee, chances are you love Tennessee. There's obviously a Vanderbilt faction in there. You got Middle Tennessee that is a growing and growing school, but Tennessee is the flagship institution for this state as the most alums around the state at this point. It certainly has the broadest appeal in a national sense on the sports scale. And so for a lot of people, this was your connection. Uh, they always refer to the sports department at an academic institution as sort of the the front porch, if you will, of a house. It's, it's the first thing you see or it's the first thing you hear about before you actually figure out everything else about the university. And John Ward was, in essence, the guy who was the spokesperson because he led the charge with all of that stuff and just a really, 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 really good guy. John Ward, passing away last week, our own John Burton last night on Sunday Sports Central summed up his life. Wherever you listen throughout the world, ladies and gentlemen, it's football time in Tennessee. For over three decades, he was the voice of Tennessee athletics. With his unique voice and signature delivery, John Ward called some of the more memorable moments in Vols history, like Peyton Manning's touchdown pass to Joey Kent on the first play in a 41-14 Tennessee route over Alabama in 1995. 35-30, 25-20, 15-10-5. What did he do? All he did was score. Joey Kent! I've heard that call so many times, and it just takes me back to to that night. Um, that night in 95 was was a lot of fun, and it brought a lot of joy to a lot of a lot of people. Um, and so it just takes me back to that night and, and how much fun we had, um, you know, beating the Crimson Tide, and hopefully we can get back to doing that one of these days. John Ward passed away earlier this week at the age of 88, but his legacy on Rocky Top is alive and well. I had the pleasure for 15 years of spotting for him. So I got a chance to sit next to him for 15 years. While I met him when I was in college here, worked as a film editor on the Bill Battle Show. And then uh, shortly after I graduated, I was working uh, at WIBK and he hired me as his spotter. So I was able to sit there through all those big moments. Titans radio play-by-play -play man Mike Keith, who called the single greatest play in Nashville sports history. Going to be fielded by Lorenzo Neal at the 25. Yeah, give pitches it, to... it back to Wycheck. Learned his craft under the tutelage of John Ward. And his legendary Music City Miracle call was a result of preparation he learned from the UT broadcasting legend. He always glanced back on long plays to see if there was a flag. I learned it from the master. <laughs> and I decided to go to Tennessee because I became a fan listening to John Ward. When I traveled back to East Tennessee, fans would say, hey, you're doing a good job for the Titans, but you're no John Ward. And I would say, you're right, I'm not. If I could be half as good as John Ward, I'd have a nice career. And that's okay. Despite not calling a big orange game in some 20 years, members of Vol Nation, both young and old, remember what John Ward meant to UT. John just understood that you needed to paint that picture and, um, and and he really did. I used to run in the end zone and say give him six when I got to the end zone so you know he's definitely a legend he'll always be remembered at the University of Tennessee and even though Coach Pruitt hasn't been here very long as soon as it happened he knew all about it so that just speaks to the legacy that John Ward has at the University of Tennessee and his name will always be remembered. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, Yards. Just how touchdown, Big Island. Iowa on the opt-in near side.